of, on, of, of Anna Jory first special session on gender and sexuality. I'd like to introduce myself. I am Kosta Padmapati for the host for the evening. And I teach political science at the Royal Global University. And uh, those who are new here, I'd like to say one line about Anna Jory. Uh, Anna Jory is a non-profit platform that engages in and promotes various initiatives that are striving for social change, supports leadership skills, and building entrepreneurship capabilities in the Northeast, including Assam. So Anna Jory has been conducting these kind of sessions uh, for the time uh, for quite a few time now. And Thursday, especially, we are focusing on very crucial topic, gender and alternative sexuality. So today we are going to have a discussion on a very, very interesting and very unusual topic, which is bringing visibility and supporting change for LGBTQ plus youths in the Barak Valley. And today we are having two very interesting speakers. First one is uh, Chao Subhajit Datta, who is a queer activist from Assam. And second one, we are having Pinky Sinha, which is a tourism entrepreneur and an LGBTQ activist. So uh, uh, the agenda of the session, so both the speakers will share their journey and their experience for the at least 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Then I will throw some questions to them. Then the floor will be open for the Q&A. And you can either uh, uh, type your questions in the chat box, or you can simply unmute yourself and ask the question directly. So without further delay, I would uh, like to request Subhajit kindly uh, share your experience, your journey as a queer activist in Assam. And after that, we will start with Pinky. Over to you, Subhajit. Kindly unmute uh, who have the some disturbances. Accept the speakers, other please mute yourself. So uh, Superjit, over to you. Hope you can hear me. Some uh, disturbances are coming. Can administration can take uh, technical team can take care of it? And hope Superjit is audible here. Uh, if some problem, we can start with Pinky. I can see Pinky online. So Pinky, yeah. Pinky, uh, Pinky can you start? Uh, can you share your journey and experience? Then we can come to Superjit. I think he's facing some technical issue. Yeah. Okay. Pinky, am I, yeah. Am I audible to uh, everybody? Yes, you are. Some background noises, if you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am trying to connect the headphone actually, uh, but unfortunately, uh, actually, I'm in a place where there there is some network issues and 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 you know maybe because of that I'm. Uh, anyway, you are audible, so Pinky, you yeah. can start. Yes. Yeah, I'm audible, right? Yes. Right. Okay, uh, so yeah, okay, okay. So Shubho is also online. So uh, as you let, let's start with Shubho then. Shubho, can you hear me? I think he's facing technical issues. So Achha, okay. uh, Pinky, you Fine. start, yeah. Fine, yeah. okay. Okay. So um, first of all, uh, a very good evening to everybody. Um, I would like to thank Anajuri and of course their uh, uh, associate was collaborated with Anajuri for this uh, 
for this webinar and uh, giving uh, this opportunity to you know uh, bring something uh, new on the table from a place which is uh, a very less discussed and less uh, you know talked about uh, first of all i like to say something about myself so my name is uh, pinky singha um, i work in tourism industry and at the same time uh, in whatever uh, my capacity whatever i get time so uh, you know i dedicate that extra time in advocacy and 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 uh, uh, bringing out uh, uh, you know in my best capacity whatever i can speak for the uh, lgbtqi plus community uh, from which i also belong and uh, first of all um, i am i very proudly say that i identify as queer and uh, i am in my native place is barak valley uh, so when first i was approached uh, to speak in the panel so uh, anajori uh, uh, is kind enough to give me this opportunity to uh, choose a topic of my interest so uh then i took uh then i thought then you know why let's not speak about barak valley so barak valley uh, is uh it comes of course under assam so it consists of basically three districts which is karimganj silchar and hailakandi and this districts combine uh, comprise it comprises of uh, what we call as the barak valley so um so we uh, as barak valley and um, you know either wise irrespective of the challenges that we have of uh, being queer or being uh, being a part of this community or being in the community apart from that we have also other certain challenges whether you say there are geographical challenges there are demographic challenges that we face and uh, uh, to some extent like uh, you know um, we we also uh, you know it takes a little bit of time to uh, things reach, reach to when when things reach to us it takes it takes a little bit of time apparently as uh, you know as compared to the other other places so um, my journey with uh, i won't say activism but um, uh, it was the year uh, 2017 that i expo got exposure to this community Uh, though i was a part of this community from a very long time but then uh, it took a, it took me a long time to come across like you know my other uh, fellow people in the community and uh, i basically live in guwahati uh, so if you say about uh, my live experiences i stayed uh, in barak valley up till my 12 and during my schooling of course um, i always believe that queerness is something that you can't hide and uh, somewhere uh, other uh you cannot uh, hide what's your actual identity is even if you try a lot so but when i when i started when i was in school uh you know uh, there wasn't enough journals and uh, or or uh, you know uh, uh, prints or or anything or or even access to internet from where i can read about and whatever questions those, those on those time those days you know i was uh, you know all surrounded with uh, there was no answer with that and um, if i still say in schools and colleges even now i'm talking about a time where you know i was in in an 8 9 standard which is uh, basically like you know in the year 2007 2008 today uh, we are in 2021 so it's a, it's it's almost it's almost a 12 and 13 years a span that i'm speaking and i'm trying to com try, i'm trying to compare the situation of now of now like now what is the situation of schools and colleges and what kinds of education like related to uh, you know uh, whether it whether it is of um, uh, um, lgbtqia plus uh, 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 journals availability or availability of support group or of uh, of any sorts of issues you know uh, i i feel um, the graph that i could see is uh, almost negligible um, so i also take the responsibility why why the graph is negligible uh, to some extent i guess i also have to take the responsibility you know uh, being getting exposed to uh, this community in guwahati and uh, you know Uh, i think it became way easy for me after 2017 to to 
enjoy a space to enjoy enjoy all those resources which i got uh, and uh, you know there is a huge there, there came a huge transition uh, on, like within within myself in terms of confidence you know in terms of confidence of speaking about and accepting myself you know a prior uh, 2017 and post 2017 is a huge difference uh, but for me it was a bit easy but when i when i come to my place like it's it's such a beautiful thing i'm i'm in silchar today and yesterday i was in guwahati so i i traveled today for some work so even 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 today like you know when i come to this part um i still feel there is a huge gap between uh, the lgbt movement that 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 has that started like way back in other parts of assam and and especially if i speak about guwahati you know so uh, the gap the gap the the the, the transition that has been uh, it, that we can see from all the all these years as compared to silchar is like um, the gap is huge so so through this platform uh, what basically I, i i want to i want to uh, you know convey is basically that um, there are challenges and there is a huge gap so so whenever whenever i get an opportunity i try to speak uh, about my place so that uh, i will try to reduce the gap of people reaching out there and people reaching out here uh, as much as you know possible uh, to try to reduce the gap as much as possible uh, there are in, in my part like in barak valley if somebody even wants to reach out uh, there is there is a uh, there, there is a gap between the people who can give the resources and the people who want to you know take the resources even there is a huge gap between that uh, there might be, there are many reasons of course um, there is the, the, up till now there is no a uh, proper platform uh, exclusively built uh, exclusively dedicated to barak valley uh, first thing uh, second thing whoever have worked or is working uh, more or less they are not residing here so they are outside barak valley they are barak valleyans but they are outside barak valley and they are doing, trying their best to do something in barak valley that, that 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 is a second reason and third of course there there is there is there is a gap between between us even uh, when people have this uh, you know barak valley people think that there are a certain kind of communities a community are only there in barak valley but in actual uh, uh, there, there there is you know if I, i there are countless communities communities in the sense i'm not uh, you know there are not only bengalis there are manipuris there are nagas you know there are you know uh, bengalis are there there are you know um, tribal peoples are there so e- even in our, our place also we have this uh, you know linguistic barrier as well uh, so there are a lot of challenges but uh, you know um, but this platform i like to use this platform as like you know at least to start a conversation within ourselves and so that we can reach out to the resources which are available uh, you know uh, because guwahati um, you know it, it, my my personal experience in the past 3 uh, 4 years uh, you know it has uh, changed a lot in terms of uh, in terms of accepting even acceptance even towards community and the resources which are available whether it's uh, counseling on mental health or whether it's count counseling on sexual health whether it's counseling uh, on you know it, whether it's counseling uh, to, uh, about about sexuality whether whether you want to visit a uh, you know queer friendly doctor or queer friendly uh, you know uh, 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 therapist you know so the scenario has changed a lot you know and uh, i now i more feel like it's more of an uh, queer uh, the people are people are more often um, you know queer accepting uh, you know uh, space there are there are many queer accepting or queer friendly spaces you know there are uh, you know numerous allies who support uh, who is extend support to the community so these changes have been there in in guwahati so so i i i i want even from play, people from my place should also get that opportunity to to at least reach out to them whenever they are in a problem or they need any kind of any kind of support or help you know so uh, that is that is the main reason why uh, i choose the, the the topic about specifically about barak valley uh, to speak in this platform so yeah sorry i spoke a little little long i guess yeah Oh, yeah uh yeah 
Yeah, Pinky, thank you so much for sharing your uh, views and story. I'll come back to you. Let's yeah. hope uh, now uh, uh, Superjit has joined. So if Superjit, you, if you have joined, can you share your journey as a queer activist from- Am Barat I Pinky? audible? Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, uh, actually, I am not a core activist from Barak Valley. I'm basically from Barak Valley. But okay. uh, all, all the things started from Guwahati itself. Uh, okay. okay, first of all, I'm giving you my introduction. I'm Subhajit Milin. Uh, he knows me very well. And uh, sure. thanks, Anna Jodi, for organizing all these things over this platform. Uh, actually, uh, in 2013, I came to Guwahati. Uh, it's a... Uh, before uh, I just I got a job in Assam Downtown University, and uh, at that time, the Supreme Court given the uh, judgment on uh, 377 at 11 December 2013, I think. Like so, they uh, recriminalized homosexuality. They overruled the Supreme Court High Court judgment of Delhi. Then I saw over Facebook. I think Bono Malika has given a post like they are um, like or arranging something against this judgment. So I joined them there. So I was quite like, you no, know, from a culture, like uh, there was no visibility, nothing. And I was very scared to come out and talk about sexuality and gender over there. So I was like, you no, know, Chup Chup case was staying there. Then uh, I was there. Then so suddenly I met uh, Minakshi. Minakshi was there. I met Minakshi, Milin, and all of them. Uh, and I thought I had came to know that that Minakshi, Milin, Bitopi, they are organizing the Kue Guwahati Pride. The first Pride, 2014. Then, then there I met another guy from Baragvili who is um, uh, Avishek, and uh, who was also you no know, very active member of Hukia before uh, after that. So that Pride, uh, first Pride, we came out um, in the first Pride out, and I was like, no, uh, I came out totally with my sexuality. And see, Baragwili is the place which is not uh, only geographically marginalized, we say, or sexually we, we are deprived from every side in Baragwili. So the moment I came out, like, no, I have, I have started like um, harassing on uh, Facebook, people unfriended me in Facebook and all. So back, like, clashes were there. So after the first spread, these things happened. But Guwahati was uh, like, no, it's a metro, cosmopolitan uh, metro city, and they're following the cosmopolitan culture. So people are quite accepting. I was working in a university, and people accepted me quite, quite well in downtown. Then the Hukia launched in, I think, 2000, this is 2014, August. So we are like one of the core members of Hukia. Then we, are, we have organized film festival and all in Guwahati. Then I thought, okay, let's uh, move to Baragvili and let's try to do something over there. Then I think, uh, but no, I was alone and I tried to reach to the community and community who are not having the girls and like, no, they were not that much of privilege to come out and working for the work for the community. So I, can, I got connected with a few people who were like, no, they are not from the community, but they are queer ally. And uh, they, gave, they gave me a platform like, you, you can start something and we will help you. So I think Hukia, we have a publication from Hukia, like uh, Forbidden Distanto. It was, uh, I launched this publication from Silcher and it was the, like, no, I, it was a quite, uh, uh, it's a very formal or uh, like inauguration and uh, function with the head for launching the first publication of Hukia. The same again, we started the black session. All people are like, you no know, shaming and even attacking few people, even most of the community people also. Then from that, we started working. Uh, I even we had a book exhibition, like all queer theme book exhibition in a film festival in Silchar. Then, then we like that with Hamza Patras, that Hukia was working with Hamza Patras. We organized few work in Guwahati, like, uh, film festival, then one drama like Ek Madhav Bag. So I I thought, ki, okay, let's have a film festival or something in Silchar. So everything was done. Uh, then uh, Hamsabar, I think, made a poster like Silchar is organizing this film, film screening, so one day film screening. Then there was a blacklash, like uh, people are threatening me to put all these things down. Uh, from Facebook, Shilcher is not uh, ready to accept all other people are saying and people are threatening like Mar Dalenge, Kaat Dalenge, you should not do all this thing in Shilcher. 
<laughs> this is not metro city uh, then then i was so scared i first call abhishek from hokia like abhishek i am getting all these things and uh, i i think uh, i was all alone and i was very scared and i thought ki you should not do that in silchar abhishek said you call tinesh and tinesh is from hamsafar and talk to him so i call tinesh tinesh i can't organize this thing in silchar because people are not supporting and like i am getting threat to not to organize all these things then Tinesh got scared. We are clubbing for we are clubbing for two two screening. One is Guwahati, one is Silchar, and in the in the last moment you are saying no, it can be happen. Then I thought, okay, fine, chalo, kar lete hain program. Jo bhi ho, jo hoga, dekha jayega. Then it happened, and it was like a successful event in Silchar. But you know, like uh, in Guwahati, Guwahati is now queer friendly. People stays in Guwahati from many many places and many other places of Assam, like. In Guwahati, in Hukia also, we all are from different different places. Guwahati is uh, accepting other people. It's following the cosmopolitan culture. But small cities and small towns are not like that. Like in Silchar, I was also only I was alone. And when I left Silchar, no activity in Silchar. People stopped working. There was no activity. Even even no people people can't reach to the community people. Like in Guwahati, resources are available. There are so many organization. so many small small groups are there but in Sil- not only silchar there are, i'm talking entire vadak valley silchar Ka- Ka- silchar then karimganj and hailakandi there is no formal group or casual group nothing the, but if if you see in guwahati or if you see in the like uh, upper assam also like jorhat dibrugarh you can see the small groups are there so if there is any problem anything people can reach out people can call something to someone but in that vadak valley is like totally marginalized for queer people like it's a uh, It's a huge difference, and there is no bridge. You, we know the cultural and uh, language barrier in between the two valleys, Barak Valley and Brahmaputra Valley, and the communication also. There's no this this graph is totally negligible. These days too, we are having the trains and all, but before too, it was not there. I think I I tried to call me uh, like uh, in the first turn when I organized that uh, book launch. So I tried to call Bitopi, Debika, and Minakshi. But see, if it is it was uh, like Tejpur and something else, some other place, then they can reach that place very easily. But because it's Barak Valley and it's far, you have to cross the total NC hill by a lamding. So it takes 14 hours journey. So people are not people are. Hello, uh, Superjit. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it it stopped in between. Yeah. You can continue. Okay. 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 I don't know why it stopped. <laughs> okay. uh, no problem. Continue. No. The thing is that uh, I said like no. I tried to call Minakshi, Bitopi, and um, Devika at uh, Silchar for launching the Hukia's first forbidden distanto, the first pub sign. Uh, they were willing, but they could not reach because of the distance and geographical location. And people like from for, from the community people like those who are who are LGBT identified. That visibility is very less, but still, no, there are few visibilities are there these days. But the people like no, they can't access the resources. They can't access the like uh, what other parts like Dibrugarh or Guwahati people are accessing. they are not less privileged because of the geographical location sure. it's very hard to work over there because you no know, as the pinky already mentioned like people are like you know there are different different groups of people so community clashes is also there see if you start something what i face personally when i try to organize work like if i start something so there's Lots of community people think so only Bengalis are staying there, but it's not. There are Manipuri, there are Nepalis. Many Manipuri are, I think, second uh, la- biggest population in Barak Valley. So they will say like, no, this their culture, not our culture. I faced it personally. I think once I, I was talking to this with Pinky. So this is one another obstacle like you no know, cultural barriers. People think like you no know, LGBT is my culture, not their culture. Identifying yeah. someone gay, lesbian. So cultural barriers are there. Same is here, right? Sure. Okay then. Uh, I I think I have to talk much over Pinky. You can carry. Okay. So uh, very interesting points. 
pointed out by both the speakers about the challenges they faced right so my question is that going to the uh, the topic that are the youth aware in barak valley about what is lgbtq are they know what is the meaning uh, especially silchar because silchar is also an educational hub and other cities like big city students are basically the forefront what about the assam university students what about the engineering and the medical students there are they aware and is there any like you know assam university has any group that working on lgbt uh, maybe yeah both of us, uh, both of you can tell us about that you, uh, we can start with yeah subhajit i, yes. I, I, I want to add like uh... Soon, I launched the Hukia publication from Barak Valley. Then Assam University English department people contact me. Like you know, they were appreciated that okay, I heard you are our student. I am an Assam University alumni, so I I did my master university. Sure. When I was there, there was no such group, and people are homophobic. Sure. There was no such group, and community people were say we know the community people, but all were in closet. when i launched that uh, that hukia zainer silchar it came in newspaper so that assam university i think english department from few two or three professors contact me so that they were appreciated the things and they say like do something and we can like no we can be a good resource and you can uh, we can you can help you then i think first i organized one film screening in a, in someone place it was the first film screening it's you can get the reference in hukia page the reference is there in hukia page official page of hukia sure uh, so they were like you no know, okay we support you and we'll give you the platform so they gave us one like roof it was a rooftop uh, screening so in a place like silchar organizing something in a rooftop and uh, like with the banner of uh, rainbow it was like uh, very challenging and like it was like you no know, for me too, it was like dream come true i would never thought like it will happen in future then with their support we had uh, like all these things and uh, in assam university annual fest they organize the cultural rally every year there um, there are 32 or 35 dep- departments so they organize cultural rally So last to last year, I think it was 2018 before the um, uh, that uh, 6 September verdict. Uh, in that culture, really, in that uh, English department took out the pride. The theme was pride. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, very very interesting. Yeah, Pinky, you yeah. can also contribute about yes. the is uh, the youth are aware? Are they know about what is LGBTQ and what are the challenges even among the youth? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Over to you. So say so as you asked about how how ever, how much aware are the youth. See yeah. there are two things like whenever a movement a a a movement starts then you need a leader right a leader as in I am not speaking about individual right sure you, sure uh, it, it can be an individual it can be a group it can be an organization it can be a collective so if i take guwahati's example it started from somewhere you know and until until then before it started there were people who were of uh, uh, you know kind of getting knowledge in google in certain journals or youtube or but but it's not like um, they had a space to or 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 a, or or a, or, a, or a particular point where they can ask their queries and resolve that so from the from the point where guwahati started um silchar or if i speak about the three district barak valley as a whole so we are not even at that point till now you know sure. we are not even at that point so sure. uh, i i won't say that youths are not aware but they are but then uh, there is no network you see there is no network there is no network in between us Uh, today uh, when i see like my friends whether in stagepur or jorhat or even in small places or in uh, hojai or 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 at dikboy you know that far even they have a network 
right even they have a network but uh, it's 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 sad and i i too have to take the responsibility you know i cannot blame it exactly. on somebody exactly. or i can blame it on shubho that you started back then why did you left you know i cannot blame at anybody i should i i also should take the responsibility and take the responsibility you know youths yes are aware but i would say they are not fully aware If they are ask, not fully aware exactly if you if you if you if you have 10 people and if you ask them the basic difference between what is the difference between gender and sexuality, sexuality. that's we call it yes. it's a b c d of of you know the gender and sexuality is the basic thing the basic thing that you can that one should know that, that sure. there's a difference between gender and sexuality so if you ask 10 people um, I, i'm very sorry but i'm afraid to say like even that knowledge i i i don't think like rather than a handful of people who have worked over there you know and who have spent a lot of time exactly. uh, uh, putting their effort uh, example like shubhojit or abhishek as shubho mentioned and there are many other uh, some few people will also introduce them in the panel today so i don't think uh, many of the people will be able to answer and i don't blame them either because there is a yeah. huge gap in terms of conversation there is a gap of a network between us and and as shubho said like the resources you know even if are available are not reaching up till them you know exactly they don't know yes. the way how to reach to the resources because they have to reach right it should only not come to their doorstep if today suddenly a trans man or trans woman or lesbian woman they are facing a challenge or problem they don't know where to go where to reach hmm. and they where they will go they were uh, mostly i have seen in that case like they they used to go to their teachers professors and how that professor is queer friendly hmm i have seen the people in especially in my place like they teaches they they teaches lgbt they are teaching but like no they they support academically but by heart they don't support they yeah. they will teach they will make you understand what is lgbt iq but they oh. will not support you they will stop you if yes. you start working they will stop you like no uh, i have faced that personally like they have said um, i know this all these things better than you so silchar is not yet ready for that stop all this thing i have faced then another thing i must must uh, mention like no uh, people are like no uh, from bas- mostly basically the, the community people they are afraid to come out because you know it's a small no town system, yeah ha, it's a small town first of all people mentality we can like we can have an idea what's the people mentality second sure. is where they will go if they come out where they will go to whom they will go right, right. they don't know sometimes they call see uh, people know me so sometimes they call me and even most i am not staying there silchar for like like 5 years i am posted in tripura and i am working in tripura university so no ground knowledge i also don't know what's going there at current stage so what i used to do i used to refer them to shivlal who is working in shomonoy now or like sometimes uh, mayuri or sometimes uh, milin or bitopi i used to refer them to that people as they are from there so on ground not i am there not pinky is there so what's mm. going on the ground we don't know yeah, so exactly. people are actually scared of people people actually are scared of Oh. See, uh, I'll 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 add a small thing here. Uh, the, to to build a safe space, uh, Guwahati was not built in a day. It took exactly. It took it took a lot of effort. It has toiled so hard. Um, has uh, accepted backlashes on themselves. You know. and uh, have been through a lot of lot of hard times and then people realized when when others used to see from outside okay okay so whatever problem they are facing uh, still they are standing still and they are with the community so exactly. i think uh, if i am having a problem then i can reach out to them because that the movement the, the movement that started guwahati it slowly gained confidence you know it slowly gained confidence and that's how people get confidence seeing that that okay okay even if i feel like i'm i'm in in ca- i'm caged and i want to come out and in case something happens i need help or any kind of support then there is somebody reliable who are working against all odds right so so that that people are as shubho said they are afraid of coming out uh, the first reason is uh, there is no safe space or there is no you know support group uh, available exclusively for baragbiri <clears throat> 
because I got calls from outside. Outside as in, once I got a call from Umang. Umang is an LBT, uh, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. organization uh, uh, from from Mumbai. So somebody called from here to there, mm -hmm. you know, and because they know me, they forwarded. Uh, 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 my number to that person and that's how being from the same place being from the same place uh, there is no link between me and the other person so that person has to take a d route through mumbai and then reach me that is sure. the uh, situation here you know but sure. for guwahati it has changed it was like this earlier when 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 things started but oh, then now Yes, but now those instances doesn't happen in Guwahati. But one thing I was just want to add, like uh, people came out on the street in Guwahati for the very first time. It was 2013, 13 December on GDR, Global Day of Rage. But still before, there was community. Right, right. I came to Guwahati in the, in the 2013 April and I added to a group and there were, at the time there was no WhatsApp and Facebook was there, but there was no WhatsApp messenger and all. So it was not virtual group. I went to a party. I met the people and it was like, you no know, 50, 60 gay people. And I was like, oh my God, people are like me over there, huge. So place like Silchar, this kind of informal groups are also not there. Not only Silchar, everywhere, like small town of Assam. So these people are lacking that. There are not small group. Guwahati is a huge city. Population is big. So like, you no, know, even gay population is also large. Mm. So place like Karimganj, population is very less mm. so there is no population of homosexual people queer identify people sure yeah even if there might be but uh, there is I, no network there, there is no part. formal go or informal group yes, nothing yes, is there yes. even even if there are like you know there, there i, I believe mm -hmm. there are in numbers in there, are, there are there are there are but still uh, uh, there is a there is a gap and now you know uh, we are trying to you know build a bridge on that gap, you know, but we're, we're, we're trying. Uh, so somewhere, some, some, we have to start. So it has been, it's, I won't say that it, it wasn't there. It is there, but somewhere it's in bits and parts, you know, it's in bits and parts in individuals or a group or, or, or a couple of people doing. So now what we're trying is we, we are trying to, you know, make a network and we're trying to be, uh, you know, bridge that gap between us, you know, yes. and for, for that even like, you know. Uh... Actually, uh, I just want to add, uh, Pinky will elaborate it later. Actually me, Pinky, and we have two other people who are, who are not physically at Silchar or Boragvili, but over internet, WhatsApp or Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, using all the social networking, we are trying to make a small group. We are just mobilizing the society. We have a small group, Pinky will explain. We're trying to mobilize the community. We're trying to build up the network and gathering the people in one shelter in the entire Barak Valley, three districts. I think you just uh, elaborate the thing. So, yeah. So uh, it's, it's, it's not new. Uh, it, it has been yeah, there for, for, for quite a time now. But then, you know, it's, it, we're very sorry to say, but we hardly get platform to speak on Barak Vili, you know, and exactly. whenever I get an opportunity, I try my best to grab that, you know, and, and, sure. and you know, uh, uh, I, I want to, I want to, uh, you know, say it loud and I want to make a point that, see, we are here and, and uh, like every other small places, like uh, leave Guwahati, Guwahati, you cannot compare Guwahati with any other places in Assam. But even if I compare with, with, with other, apart from Guwahati, like there have been small places who have come across a long way, you know. And um, so, yeah, we are trying to make a network here. You know, there, there, so uh, we've started a group called uh, SAGE, uh, the Barak Collective which basically is, uh, so is on advo advoca advocacy of, on sexuality and, mobilize, and, sexuality and mobilizing the community people. Yes, yes. And, uh, uh, you know, so this platform, I also would like to take that opportunity to introduce to others. Uh, I, I mean, there is um, Dr. Those Devika. who are from Barak Valley, huh? Yeah, Dr. Deepika Dev and uh, and yeah, um, yeah and uh, Sam Bhatt, they, they are there. So, we, uh, you know, there are so many stories, I tell you. There are um, numerous stories that needs to be heard. There are, uh, exactly. you know, exactly. there are uh, beautiful, at the same time, heartfelt stories, you know, that need sure. to come across people. Uh, people need to hear them out. 
you know how what are the challenges that they're facing and how they have come across in from like some toughest of tough situations and they have pulled themselves strong enough to stand in a small place like in barag valley and you know open and out and uh, you know be, uh, you know being the flag bearer of uh, of the community you know uh, because it's difficult here uh, truly it's very difficult here you know um, so but then we are glad that at least matlab we at least we have handful of people you know we are trying some day you know we can at least reach a position where guwahati is today uh, you know we always look up to guwahati because uh, it has been from for for assam and north is basically basic, uh, basically you know it has been a a, a, a kind of a, a torch bearer who have always shown us the path and i being staying in guwahati i know like you know how 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 easy things have become for us I won't say that easy, but Sinai from where it's totally changed started, now. Actually, yeah, from where things started, yes. And kudos to all those people who have worked so hard, you know, to to build this space, to build build this. And uh, if I start taking names, you know, uh, maybe there's a long list of people. Uh, <laughs> I won't see, uh, 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 the fast that uh, global day of rage and fast pride parade. So we you know we have to thanks for to to this event like yes, Bonomalika, yes, Minakshi, yes. Vidopi, Milin, Angita. I can't oh, stop. So no, uh, I can't yeah. stop myself to take their name. From Indrani or so many. Oh uh, my God! If I start taking names, and, and it's not like you know, only when started. Like when people joined, you know, with with, with time went by and people joined. Strong people joined. Strong opinionated people joined, and they put their voice out there, loud and strong, you know, and made what Guwahati is in terms of LGBT movement is where right now uh, Guwahati is. So yeah, I. So are they? are the two others are there like if if uh, uh, mm-hmm. if uh, mr kostov allow then uh, we also would like to you know at least there are two they can speak about their their own experiences you know um, uh, how you know sure uh, we, i'm we not can... sure if they are No, uh, Sam was uh, there, but uh, he is not here now. Sam actually he is a trans identity person. He is quite open with his identity. He is basically from Silbar Karimgan actually. Okay. So even with me and Pinky in the stage that sexu- uh, sexuality and gender yeah. equality, so he is also working there. We are like yeah. silently, you know, working because if suddenly we come out, people are people get scared. Like what I sure, personally sure. face. what i personally faced after fast pride work like uh, i have connected with the community people right they stopped talking to me they they blocked me in facebook they unfriended me because they thought like okay he is staying in guwahati guwahati is a big city and we're mm. staying in silchar he is out there and if we mingle with him yeah so people will no identify ourselves or people will doubt us sure same sure. is here but yeah. uh, same is so- here Yeah. Uh, so, see, um, we are Baragvillians, okay, and uh, we speak a lot of different languages here. So, uh, sure. um, don't mind. Like, am I? Will I be able to? Uh, is it okay if I speak in little bit of Sylheti and Bengali and Hindi as well? Because people really understand. A lot of Baragvillians are listening, so uh, you know. This platform they... is also allows for conversation in your vernacular language. Thank so, you so much. I used to do in bilingual, but today I right. thought, uh, yeah. So please go ahead. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, create a message in your languages yeah yeah sure so um you know we speak silethi to amra silethi kotha koi and i i love this language this is like even i'm manipuri but i i love this language even even more than i i love speaking in manipuri so um so yes um both din theke you know amra chesta kori ar je somehow the network yeah yeah yes okay both are here yeah we all are here Yeah, so um, our team director is uh, Sam Bhatt. Uh, so I mean, Sam re uh, invite for me, uh, and uh, I'll request Sam ki Sam jodi nijer lived experience kiro ham start or say you know you know your journey Silchar tha kya ba Koringonj tha kya ba you know kemne start holo and where 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 you are you know khodro khoto changes I say ho oi shomar jahan tumi shuru kor sa or khon khoto changes I say so speak your heart out Sam yeah. Thank you, thank you, Pinky. Thank you, Shubhoda. Uh, actually, I mean, Johan uh, school life has started. Actually, I mean, school life. Tika Johan, I mean, Buja started or said that. Our matter. So, when you go to school, matter, who knows? I mean, who is know? I mean, who knows? 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 I
লুকে 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 মানে অনেক দিন পাঁচ ছয় বছর তো এইভাবে কাটছে তারপরে যখন স্কুল লাইফ শেষ হলো আমরা যখন একটা প্রফেশনাল লাইফের দিকে আগুয়েলাম তখন আস্তে 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 যখন ওই অভিষেক দার লগে আমার একচুয়ালি প্রথম দেখা হয়েছিল ইয়েতে অভিষেকিং <laughs> বুঝছি যে আমরা মানে একটা লিমিটেড ইয়াতে জীবন কাটাইতেছি আমরা মতন আরো অনেক মানুষ আছে যেগুলো অনেক ওপেন বা যারা কিন্তু আমি যখন ফার্স্ট টাইম ওই প্রাইডে যাই তখন বুঝতে পারছি যে আমি এই দুনিয়াতে শুধুমাত্র একলা আমি না অনেক রকম আছে আমার মতন মানুষ ফার্স্ট টাইম আমি বুঝতে পারছি যে না আমি মানে ঠিক আছি আমি যেটাই আসি আমি নর্মাল আমি একদমই অ্যাবনর্মাল না তারপরে যখন আমরা করিমগঞ্জের কথা হোক বা শিলচরের কথা হোক বা এন্টার বরাক ভ্যালিতে আমরা অ্যাকচুয়ালি এগুলা ব্যাপারে অনেক অনেক মানুষই অনেক রকমের ইয়ে আছে কিন্তু মানে নিজের ভালোভাবে ইয়ে করতে পারে না বুঝতে পারতেছে না যে তারা অ্যাকচুয়ালি কি বা তারা কোনো ভালো একটা প্ল্যাটফর্মও পাইতেছে না এগুলা ব্যাপারে ডিসকাশন করার লিগ অনেক সময় অনেক আছে কাউন্সিলিং এর দরকার হয় বাট যোগাযোগ করার মতন কেউ থাকে না অনেক সময় প্রবলেমে পড়লে ঘুরিয়া ফিরে সুবদার লগে যোগাযোগ করতে হয় বা সুবদার লগে ডিসকাস করতে হয় দা আমি মোস্ট অফ দা জায়গা তে আই এম হেল্পলেস বিকজ আই এম নট স্টেইং देयर इवन আই ডোন্ট নো দা নিউ জেনারেশন পিপল নিউ জেনারেশন পিপল আর কোয়াইট ডেয়ারিং আই হ্যাভ সিন রাইট স্যাম সো মানে ইনফরমেশন ইনফরমেশন কোথা থেকে পাই সো রিগার্ডিং ইউ নো তোমার কিছু ইনকোয়ারিজ আছিল যে ইউ নো অভিষেক দার ইয়ে দিয়া দিছিল কন্টাক্ট করার লেগা তুমি যেহেতু আমি যেহেতু গুহাটি আছি তো অভিষেক দার লগে কন্টাক্ট করার লেগা তখন আমি ফার্স্ট টাইম অভিষেক দার লগে গিয়া দেখা করি অভিষেক দার বলছে যে আমরার মানে বরাক ভ্যালি থেকে অনেক মানুষ আছে তো তখন মানে এত বেশি সময় কথা হয়েছে না অল্প সময় কথা হয়েছিল ওই অভিষেক দার সাথে প্রথম পরিচয় তারপরে তো শুভ দার সাথে পরিচয় হয়েছে স্টার্টিং আমার সোর্স এই সোনাল জ্ঞানী দিক থেকেই থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ স্যাম sense it. So definitely uh, a big thanks to both of you so i'm now opening the floor for the further questions so anyone you can simply unmute yourself introduce yourself ask the question or or you can simply type in the chat box so i'll read out the questions to the uh, both the uh, speakers so please go ahead anybody wants to ask the question uh kostob i will go uh definitely this- melinda uh, without your comment uh-huh. uh this uh, this discussion is really not complete please go ahead melinda so i just wanted to say that this discussion really made my day i had a very bad day today <laughs> somebody somebody was going to file a complaint against me because i was taking some dogs uh, for sterilization and stuff like that So but uh, I saw in the Facebook your updates about the dogs here. Sure. Yes. So um so it this all made my day 
and uh, I'm so happy to see Subo and Pinky and doing their great work. Um, wanted to wish you all the best. It makes me so proud that you guys are so passionate about Borak Valley and you guys are doing all your work there. And uh, hope you can keep. I mean, I saw you had fashion show and all that also before. In Ch- it's in Chipura. It's in Chipura. I organized okay, it in okay. Chipura, not in Borak Valley. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, but it will. I'm sure that that will also happen in Borak Valley someday. It will. Right? It will. Last we had, right? We had from Kukia. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there we will had it be from really... will again. <laughs> yes, and it, it, it's really nice to see that. And also wanted to mention that from next week, I think we will start uh, a mental health support group. And quite a lot of them will be on site as well off site. You know, if somebody wanted to join us, we'll ha- also have, I think, Dr. Nilofer joining us uh, for LGBTQ support group. Um, so if somebody wanted to join us uh, in our virtual platform, if uh, you know, they can also join if we are if they are here in Guwahati, you know. But uh, it 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 feels so good to hear that uh, you guys think that Guwahati is so much ahead, um, you know. So I'm yeah, sure yeah, that you know, everybody has, everybody who are working over here would really make them happy to know that. Um, I have three dogs, uh, street dogs, and uh, rescued. Here they are. They want to get out, so they're making noise. Um, so <laughs> but uh, but wanted to thank you all. Okay, I'll mute myself because they're barking. Thank you both. Yeah, nice. Uh, thank you, uh, Melinda, actually, for giving this platform. You know, uh, it really, it really it was so important for, for us uh, to have a platform as such. Uh, uh, Asan's homegrown, homegrown platform, and and to speak uh, uh, about ourselves, you know. Of course, uh, Guwahati has made a long way, and uh, we look up to Guwahati. And maybe someday uh, we can make our place also. Maybe you know, can take to that level, and maybe beyond that. And through this platform, I would like to reach everyone out there, you know, to. Uh, in, in any way, in any way to extend, uh, extend your support, you know, uh, Barak Valley uh, has, uh, has a long way to go and uh, without, without support uh, from their own people and without support from Assam and whatever resources we have in Assam, I, I don't think we can make make up till there you know so my request is like you know we we have we have uh, planned something we have uh, pretty much lined up some programs in the in the in the air and we'll also personally would like to reach out to uh, to everybody whom we know personally of course for all sorts of uh, help and and uh, of course um, thank you so much seriously uh, from the bottom of my heart for this platform and for this opportunity and i also like to thank shubho as well and sam uh, you know for joining in and you know uh, at least at least we we, we we can we have we can say that you no know, we at least start, started something so it's it give me immense pleasure i'm so happy today thank you so much yeah and also a big thank you to kashmira for making this happen oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah of course to the anajuri team of course uh, without them though this platform is there of course yeah yeah any other questions anybody wants to ask Okay, uh, if not, that may be the last question just I'll ask and wind it up. So the questions to both of you, all of you, uh, both of you mentioned that you have started with, with, with a small effort and it's a long way to go. Yeah. So if you can tell uh, with your concluding remarks, what are the plans for the future, what you want to do, and uh, the, basically to bring about awareness among the youth in the Barang Valley, what are your plans? Both of you, you can just uh, simply wind up and uh, tell about, uh, share with us. You already mentioned about the support, uh, about the small group, but anything else, if you want to share, uh, we can uh, we uh, we can go ahead with that and conclude the session. Unmute, yes, unmute can... yourself, Shubha first. Yeah. No, I said the group name is Sage, S A G E. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, so both of you share uh, your last concluding remarks. 
about what your plans to do for the youths in the Barak Valley here, specifically. Yeah, sure. So go ahead first and I'll, I'll, I'll last time. Uh, uh, for my aim is like you no know, to make a bridge in between this marginalized valley people to the Brahmaputra valley, not at least to Guwahati, because no, Guwahati is the hub, is the center. People are yeah. connected and resources are available there. At least like you no, know, they should not feel like deprived and just community people who are fighting and who are trying to come out, they will reach to the resources those who are available in Guwahati. There are lots of women-based organizations. LGBTQ support groups are there. So, and but uh, Barak Valley people, they don't know even. So, this information should be rich over them. And other two, we are planning so many things, it should be a surprise. And uh, I will talk to it, Milin personally. <laughs> Milin is my colleague, no, we are from Gukia. Sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> Milin is my colleague. So, we'll, I will talk to him uh, personally. Yeah, uh, so um, regarding this gr group, if I have to be very specific, then our first and foremost uh, aim is to create Barak Valley's own support group. That, uh, you know, that would be our first aim. Uh, because first, we sh should go across people and people should be, uh, and we must be uh, loud enough so that people can hear us and whenever they have any kind of issue so they can they have they should have that confidence uh, on this on this uh, the people uh, are here know, people are collective. here yeah so that that we are here so that will be that will be the first aim uh, to 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 establish barak valley's own uh, you know support group that will be the first thing and and in, in order to do that we have yes we have uh, you know three to four programs lined up for this year that uh, yeah, of course, as Shubha said, um, let, let, you know, with, with time, we'll, we'll definitely, you all will come to know about that uh, first thing. Uh, that is the first thing that we are focusing right now, you know, small, small, you know, baby steps. And um, to Shunar Amare, all the selective people out there and all, everybody uh, from uh, Silchar, uh, Karim Ganj and Haila Khandi, Jara Jara Shuner and and Jahan Jahan of the A video ta by webinar ta jaibo through Facebook ba you know uh, Jahan Jahan. I mean itai kote saaye je uh, it's high time je amra amra asi we exist amra asi or maybe amra amra asi and uh, um, reach out kote fine ek genre arok genre mm. so finally ekta platform hoyte jar uh, jekhane you know at least nijer shuk tha hok or duk tha hok shoglo amra share kote farmu. Are both veterans as a jara khach khorse and uh, tara uh, and will of course we'll look up to them at our lead corbo. There are many, and uh, finally, you know, ekta um, jaga create for our shobe milia sesta kormu jekhane, you know, people are, uh, you know, where, where, uh, yeah, shobe milia sesta kormu je ekhomata space barn legia where, you know, there is nobody, there, there, is, there should be nobody, you know. Uh, to okay. judge us and uh, we can at least in, in our group we can we can feel free to talk whatever we want you know yeah. so to all the people who are here so, yes, okay. yes. So, Pinky, uh, one last question I, I, it suddenly strike on me because since you're a tourism entrepreneur right in many big cities like Delhi Mumbai and all they con they organize specific LGBT trips so that people can right. bond and uh, share and they bond up during the trip and they take take them. So are you also planning like that? I'm wow. just curious to know. Wow, like it's like it's like it's like you know, apne, you know, and it, like it's like you have you, stolen the piece from my mouth. It's like that. So we because yeah. That yeah, that, we, that really strike me because I was aware I was there in Delhi for 17 years. So right, I came to know right. about all you know that right. they organize like weekend trips and very nice trips uh, so that people yeah. bond and correct, know correct. each other better. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I, I have actually. Uh, and very, very interestingly, I, I also, I mean, this is not the platform, but still, as you asked, I'll just mention. So we have a we have a, 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 a group in, in Guwahati based group only. And basically, it's, uh, as, uh, it comprises of, uh, it's, it's a woman group, I would call, but it's not exclusively woman group. Uh, yeah. but there are there are uh, I mean I, I'd say uh, uh, 
we we do it's it's been it's been a year now so we go on uh, you know different uh, we do different activities we say we've celebrated i mean uh valentine's day women's day we yeah, went valentine. this year we went on a picnic it's basically queer group okay it's yeah queer group. so uh that culture is there it's there in guwahati and, and yes of Very course nice. like i would definitely would like to you, you know uh uh Play, play, uh, so want to play this thing uh, uh, on the on on the platform definitely that um, uh, we will have such those kind of uh, trips and activities where you know, we can finally can again reclaim our spaces you know queer spaces okay. you know yeah sure sure okay so thank you subhajit and pinky for sharing uh, such a can i have one activity. minute can i have sure, one minute sure 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 because yes. like a uh, small uh, place and people are scared of coming out and there are only two three people those who are like they accepted their gender and sexuality and they're out and loud so i think deepika was actually she is a doctor and uh, she was in her ot so yeah, she is she is in the um, she is here now deepika can you hear me no she she is i think she she came and she left i think she she was in a she was having a case okay then chill out okay, okay. so okay, sir, okay, can okay. i conclude now yeah there is somebody uh, somebody wants yeah. to say i guess it's in the chat okay uh, please go ahead yeah. if anybody hello? Ask, yeah. hello hello yeah. am i audible yes yeah, you yeah, are yeah actually uh, pinky uh, pinky ma'am uh, Hello. Me. So you can call me Pinky. Yes, Kash. Uh, yeah, Kashmir. I can hear you. Ah, uh, our one question is low. Question actually exactly na. But what that all those je rokom. I'm ne. I'm just bolche. Je borak bhali the. Rokom ekta create korar mon je safe space ekta. So jodi kewli apnara re ani korte sahi. To this video and that is from this session. To kiha the kani korte parman. इंस्टाग्रामे Yeah, this is over. Maybe Facebook comment. Uh, we will. We, uh, I mean, I'm not looking at the more link. Ta. So Facebook is available. As Instagram is available. As numbers are there. So why do we amra has to connect? Hot the side. You know, with open arms, we are here. Chika sir and Kashmir, seriously, thank you so much for asking this. Okay, we are almost skip, man. <laughs> almost skip. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for asking this. Uh, yes. Deepika, are you here? Yeah, cost of sorry. Yeah, we are taking a little bit of time, you know. It's okay. It's okay. If yes, I'm just uh, anyone wants to give comments. Uh, I just want to say uh, I just want to know Deepika to say something because she is quite uh, open with her sexuality and she is from a uh, you know, very like uh, place like Karimganj. Yeah, hope yes. she is there and audible. She is here. I don't know she's uh, she can she is hearing us or not. Deepika, no, she is not able to hear us. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe the technical uh, person. Uh, yes, sir, I'm here. Deepika, Deepika, yeah, Deepika okay. is here. Deepika is here. But that was Melinda yeah. speaking. Yeah. 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 No, Deepika is here. Deepika. Okay. No, I think it's a technical problem. Yeah, she is here. Yeah, she is here. Deepika, can you hear? No, I think there is a technical problem. She can't hear. Yes, yes, okay, I can that's... hear. Okay, uh, Deepika, we want to. Uh, I especially, 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 I want to, like, no, I want you to speak and say something on you on or your life and uh, how, like, no thing happens in a place like Karim Ganj and from there and uh, queer identify women, how it is. It was like no the journey, a small, just no. Explain in a little brief. Hello. Oh, huh, hello. I think it's technical issue. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Speak. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me in this field. Actually, I'm very happy. 
like uh, a long back i really wanted to join this kind of field actually this kind of zoom meeting or anything this kind of like because this is a very uh, you can say a great initiative towards our uh, individuality first the main thing is that so i will uh, talk to you in english and even in hindi because i really want you can ki, use little also isko english jisko english itna samajh mein nahi aata hai wo hindi mein bhi thoda samajh le <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so ye bolna hai ki uh, actually first of all i came to guwahati on in the year of 2010 so i came there uh, because of my this one graduation so i really don't know about uh, lgbtq and all that time since like in 2010 i was very unaware about all these things and but my best friend who was from this field so she was quite uh, like she was with me every time and uh, i gradually got to know about uh, this what is this and i really actually what happens actually i used to think like that why i am feeling some in uh, in a bit different way for the girls why i am not feeling the same way for the uh, uh, boys why is something is happening like that but no one was there to uh, like uh, give me information and one uh, like support me help me and actually this thing only happened this is this thing only happened because of that only we are uh, in this field so that we can uh, give others hope and support so that everyone get to know about all these things what this actually so from that part from the year 2010 gradually i got to know that yes i'm the one who is like who really like girls so after that uh, i think uh, i met shubho in the year i think 2014 15 or 16 like that 14, right 14 shubho, 14 I 14 just forgot 14 right? so actually Film skinning. Who cares for film screening? For at uh, Guwahati Club. Two thousand fourteen. Yes, yes, yes. Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Before that, actually, I met him. Uh, one of my friend actually told me that you should uh, because that time I was very confused what to do with my life. So that friend he uh, just uh, advised me that you should talk to. okay seems like a technical glitch again hello yeah hello dipika can you hear us yes yes yeah so dipika yes, uh, yes, so, i can sorry hear. to yeah. sorry to interrupt you we are already running out of time can you speak yes. like in 2 3 minutes and uh, finish this yes 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 <laughs> yeah sure 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 yeah sure uh so that is what i met to go and after that i got to know about kukia all these things and after that i just was uh, like very confused in this matter but gradually i got to know who who i am so this thing happens and now i am totally out to everyone i am lesbian and i am proud of it and right now i am in bangalore i am working as a veterinary officer in a hospital so i really want i really wanted to join many of pride in guwahati but i couldn't able to because i was there in a like hostel and also um i thought that i will i can attend but i couldn't but right now in through that online field we can just share everything so this is what for this reason i am here and thank you for so much for this like for inviting me in this kind of uh, spirit and yes this uh, sage the balak collective like we just thought of it and gradually uh, we'll think how next one so i hope we can have all others who are like very much up to that mark to come out and talk about them so thank you i think i am <laughs> okay with this <laughs> and you all got to know about who am i thank you thank you dipika so much as uh, milinda yeah, said yeah. Hello. we we can yes, do yeah. uh, we can do maybe one more session uh, with two yeah, more really speakers good. in the future so
so thank you again all of you with the hope of bridging the gap between the barak valley and brahmaputra valley as said by both the speakers we come to an end of today's program and please connect with both the speakers uh, basically who are from the barak valley mm -hmm. and thank you all all of you especially the energy team for giving me the opportunity i really enjoyed today hosting this event and all the participants and with this uh, good night to all of you we will meet another session after uh, maybe the next one uh, we will be announced in the website soon thank you all of you good night thank you good night. Thank, thank you thank you kostav thank, thank you milin thank, thank you entire team thank you thank you